Hello and welcome to the instructional video on preparing and running the PowerPlex 5 die matrix on the Applied Biosystems 3500 and 3500 XL genetic analyzers. The steps demonstrated in this video are meant to be used with the PowerPlex 5 die matrix standards kit. In conjunction with the technical bulletin TBD0024 titled PowerPlex 5 die matrix standards 3100-3130, which can be downloaded from promega.com. Prior to preparing your matrix, please ensure that your 3500 series instrument has been properly maintained, ready for use, and the oven is preheated to 60 degrees C. Ensure your matrix standards kit and high dye formamide are thawed and that you have an available source ready for heating and snap cooling the 96 well plate. The PowerPlex 5 dye matrix standards contain five tubes of concentrated dyes. Fluorescine, Joe, TMRET, CXRET, and CC5. There is also a tube of nucleus free water for use as a diluent. The first step is to create individual 1 to 10 dilutions of each dye. To do this, first dispense 45 microliters of nucleus free water to each of five empty tubes. Next, thoroughly vortex each concentrated dye tube for 5 to 10 seconds. Then, add 5 microliters of each dye to the tubes containing the nucleus-free water. Next, add 7 microliters of each of the 1 to 10 diluted dyes to 665 microliters of high dye formamide. Thoroughly vortex the tubes for 5 to 10 seconds to mix. Once the dyes are mixed, dispense 25 microliters of the dye mix into wells A1 to H1 if you are using a 3500 genetic analyzer, or into wells A1 to H3 if you are using a 3500XL genetic analyzer. Place SEPTA on the plate and then briefly centrifuge the plate to remove bubbles. Denature samples at 95 degrees C for 3 minutes, then immediately chill for 3 minutes. Place the plate in the 3500 series 96 weld standard plate base and cover with the plate retainer. Place the plate assembly in position A on the auto sampler with the labels facing you. To perform a spectral calibration with the Promega 5 die chemistry, a new die set needs to be created. To create a new die set, navigate to Library, highlight Die Set, and select Create. The Create a new die set tab will appear. Now name the die set. I suggest Promega G5. Select Matrix Standard for the Chemistry and select G5 Template for the die set template. The remaining values can be left at default. Just ensure that the minimum quality score is set at 0.95. Now select Save. Next, select the Maintenance tab and select Spectral on the left-hand side. Under the Calibration Run tab, ensure that the number of wells is 96. The plate position is A, and if your laboratory allows borrowing, that the Allow Borrowing box is checked. For chemistry standard, select matrix standard and the die set should be the new die set that you just created. You now can select start run. If fewer than the recommended number of capillaries pass, the spectral calibration run will be repeated automatically two additional times. It is important that the quality scores, Q values, of at least 0.95 are produced. However, we have found that Q values of 0.98 help to further reduce the occurrence of pull-up. It is also important to note that the peaks for each dye channel do not need to be evenly balanced. However, it is important that all peaks are at least 750 RFU. While the spectral may pass, it may not be optimal for spectral resolution. If there are peaks less than 750 RFU, the individual dye dilutions may be adjusted or the injection time may be increased. For example, if the CC5 peak is 700 RFU, instead of using a 1 to 10 dilution of the concentrated dye, a 1 to 5 dilution may be used instead. 
If the spectral calibration meets the above requirements, choose Accept. If you are not satisfied with the results of the spectral, you may select Reject and run the spectral again with the necessary adjustments. Thank you for taking the time to learn how to install your PowerPlex 5 die matrix. If you have any questions, please contact our technical support group at genetic at